We're a little short-handed today because it is only Jackie and I on the sales floor. We even have our receptionist that had called out today. So we're doing a lot of work because we're very uh, short-staffed. I just had a client come in on this particular Silverado. Now I didn't sell this particular Silverado, but I did just sell a vehicle. This is a 2016 Silverado Crew Cab LTZ with only 35,800 miles on it. The LTZ is our fully loaded package. So it's got all the fun stuff on the inside. You know, it's a full leather interior. Of course you have your heated seats, has a sunroof, uh, most likely has in-dash nav, power folding mirrors, you know, memory package, pretty much everything you can get in the uh, truck. Now back then, we still had a turnkey ignition. So we will do that. No, it actually does not have in-dash navigation, but it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So obviously your phone's navigation can be linked up with ease. And then you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze, you know, whatever your preference is. The customers that came in on this truck were actually dealing with uh, Crazy Eddie just through email. They were never physically here. They popped in on him today. Uh, he's off today, so uh, I helped him out. Right now, they weren't in a position to... Um, what is that tight spot? Weren't in a position to put a deal together today. All right. The customer was looking at multiple trucks, so they stopped in to check this one out. The uh, one gentleman that was with him, because it was like five people here, it was a whole family. The one guy definitely knew cars, and he uh, obviously had some experience either in sales or uh, buying vehicles, because he was doing little subtle things that I picked up on. For instance, as they were looking at the vehicle, he would walk around, and as I was standing and talking to some of the family members, he would do stuff like this. He wouldn't say anything, he would just walk around, and as he saw little blemishes or imperfections, you know, as he walked around the vehicle, he wouldn't say anything, but he would do it in front of me. He would just, you know, do one of these moves. Which I can actually appreciate because that means he knows what he's doing. Uh, that's actually something that dealerships will do or salespeople will do to uh, devalue your trade right in front of you. Because subconsciously, when you see someone pointing out the little flaws and imperfections, it devalues the vehicle. So what he was doing in front of me was he was devaluing the vehicle right in front of my eyes to say like, listen, this has some blemishes, this has some scratches and things on it. Now, I immediately explained to him that we sell our vehicles cosmetically as is. We do have companies that come in that do paintless dent removal. We actually have a guy here right now that's doing some, uh, some repairs on rock chips and stuff like that. So we try to beautify them as much as we can. However, you really can't fix everything and then sell it at an aggressive price. So we sell it the way it is, we price it the way it is, and then we do have a body shop that if somebody wanted to get things touched up and fixed, we can introduce them to our body shop and those guys can try to help them out and make them happy on it. So in any event, we did not sell this yet. They're gonna think about it, which is very similar to what happened to me yesterday, which is had a customer that was coming in on this Colorado who also was looking at multiple trucks. They checked ours out, we went through everything. He then was going to the other dealer to look at theirs. And this morning he just called me up and explained to me that we had the one that he wants. We did sort of renegotiate his trade-in just slightly. We gave him a little bit more money for it. He's happy, he's now emailing me, or I emailed him what we'll need. He's sending me all that stuff over, sending a deposit over. He's transferring money because he's buying it cash and we'll get this deal out probably by the end of the week. I'm not gonna move this truck right now. I just wanna get the exact miles, put a sold sign in it, just like that. Exact miles are 19,657. So we'll jot that down. 19,657. And I just wanna make sure, and yes, it has a full tank of gas. So I won't have to worry about taking it to the fuel station. I could just bring it right to detail so they can get it ready for whatever day my client wants to take the truck. Another deal I'm working on right now is on the Chevy Trax. Now we've talked about the Trax in the past, extremely popular. This is the list of Traxes that I have that are being built. Uh, right now we have five, I'm sorry, six that are gonna be here hopefully this month. Five of them already sold. Three of them are my deals, which is great. And I'm working on a fourth one right now. We have a Blue Glow LT that's inbound, which I have a customer interested in and ready to leave a deposit. One thing she wanted to make sure before that deposit was taken is are we marking the cars up? In her email she sent to me, she said, can you tell me is Schumacher Livingston marking up the vehicle? I've been to two places uh, so far and they are marking up the price. Now, we're not, we'll sell it at MSRP. We have our three to nine documentation fee and then we're adding tax and plates. So um, we're gonna email her back now and see if we can lock this in and mark that vehicle sold for her.
Generally, we take a $500 deposit when we're holding a vehicle or putting a vehicle aside for somebody. She's asking if we can do $100. Uh, really, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure we do at least a $500 deposit. So I'm just emailing her back that now that uh, not only is that $500 going to go towards the vehicle when she takes delivery, if she decides not to take delivery once the vehicle comes in, that money would be refunded back to her. We don't keep the deposit. You know, we'll hold the vehicle. Once it shows up, she gets first right of refusal. If she does refuse it and decides not to take it, she doesn't lose out on anything. All she's gaining in this situation is the ability to have a car physically here and available for her to make that decision. Give you a quick inventory update. This morning we got, I think, four more traverses in. So look at this, we got an entire line of traverse, which is one of our best sellers here. We also got this Colorado. Uh, this Colorado came in, this is currently available. This is not one of our sold factory orders. It's a two-wheel drive LT Crew Cab. I'm not exactly sure why we have it as a two-wheel drive. Not generally something we would order, but it is here. We got this uh, Tahoe Win Z71. This is sold. And we have this Tahoe Premier. I believe this one is available. This is a Premier trim. It does have 22-inch wheels and the sunroof added. MSRP, 75990 there's one more car I'm looking for that just became available. It was somebody's order. The car showed up and they canceled, but I cannot find it anywhere. I just went into the shop. It wasn't there. Oh, there it is. Out past the white 2500 HDs. Here it is, 2023 Camaro Coupe 1LT. It does have the RS package. It's got the V6 in automatic and the tech package. Really cool car. This is the first Camaro we've had here and available in ooh, quite some time. MSRP of this unit as it sits right now, 34,675. I actually have a couple customers that I've been talking to recently that may want to order one, or we have a gray one inbound that some people were talking about. Uh, what I'll do is I'll definitely shoot those customers an email or give them a call if I have their phone number, because uh, most of those were internet leads. And I uh, just let them know this is here. It's here, it's available. Maybe it's something they want to make a move on. I just had a great idea. We're gonna have a new segment to my videos. In the end of every video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a comment from the prior video that I uploaded. Now this comment might be the one that was the funniest to me, the one that aggravated me the most, the one that was the wittiest, whatever it may be. We're gonna pick one comment and we're gonna highlight it in the end of the video. So today's winner is Mr. RJ Snowden with his comment. Now let me give you the context of what I was saying in the previous video when he left this comment. The car business is not going anywhere. Dealerships are not going anywhere. Salespeople are not going anywhere. And to that clip, Mr. RJ Snowden replied or commented, what's not going anywhere is that crane on the side of the building. Man, they're still working on that retaining wall? Dude, that actually made me laugh out loud. That was a funny comment and you win the award of the funniest comment to me on my prior video. To give people who might not know about this retaining wall a little context, uh, our wall was falling down. They were replacing the wall. You can see uh, the portion of it uh, that's completed is ready to go. What they had to do was move everything from this pole to the new pole. That's what they've been working on. That's what this crane or whatever you want to call it, this boom extension, has been holding up uh, for quite some time. I think we started this job in like November of 22, but uh, for whatever reason. I don't know the reasons why it got held up uh, tremendously. But good news, next week, I believe, they are doing all the, uh, the work that needs to be done on the pole. I think we're actually closing one day because we're not gonna have power so they can do everything they have to do. And then once that's done, the other company can come in, knock out the rest of the wall, pave this, and it will finally be a completed job.